uh, right now I'm going to show you how to solder onto graphite foil. So it's a two-step process. So first you need to copper plate the part you want to solder to, and then you're just going to put flux and solder it as you would anything else. So to do this, you're gonna need a little container to fit your part. Since I'm using quite a large, uh, large piece of graphite foil, I need a, a wider container than my jar is. Uh, then you're also going to need copper acetate. Uh, this is fairly easy to make. Uh, in short, it's just uh, copper, uh, hydrogen peroxide, and vinegar. So it's not, it's really easy to make with household ingredients and it works pretty well. Uh, then you're also going to need a power supply. Uh, to do this test piece, I used a bench power supply at a lab. Uh, but I don't really have that at home right now, so we're going to be using a computer power supply. This is benefit and a curse because it also has a, uh, a fan on it right off the bat so that I don't need an external fan. And that's going to be useful because uh, while it's cooking, or uh, <laughs> while it has electricity on it, it bubbles and releases a little bit of hydrogen, but mainly it just kind of smells bad because of the vinegar, so that fan's going to help clear that out. Uh, so first step is we're just going to pour some copper acetate into our container. Now that our container is full, I'm just going to use some masking tape and mask off any places that I don't want to be copper plated on this sheet. So when doing this, you want to be fairly delicate with the graphite foil, just because it's very breakable. Uh, so after that's done, we're just going to connect the positive end of our cable, which is an alligator clip to a piece of copper. This can be anything copper. This is just a sheet of wire that I hammered out and flattened into a ring, but uh, it really can just be anything as long as it's copper. You don't want to use any pennies or something that might be uh, full of something other than just pure copper because then it'll uh, contaminate your solution of copper acetate. Then you're just going to connect the negative end onto the graphite foil. Again, being really, really careful. And if you have too strong an alligator clip, it can just snap right through it. So this is pretty breakable stuff. So just, just be gentle. So once everything is all wired up, you're just going to gently place that in there and turn on your power supply. So power is on and you should see little bit of bubbling or not depending on how much power it's getting and you want to just move it a little bit again it's super flexible so it will snap at that crease if you aren't very gentle with it basically now it's just waiting okay so this has not been very long at all but if you just take it out you can see it's already turning a nice coppery color which is good that's what we're going for so I'm going to try and get it to be fully covered. Uh, so I'm just going to keep moving it for a little bit longer. But that was that was only 30 seconds. You don't want to get too thick of a coat or else it'll st start flaking off. Um, so right now I've got 12 volts going to it through the power supply, which seems to be doing a good job. But really, as long as you've got some form of electricity, it'll just change how long it takes. So let's check again. And that's looking that's looking pretty nice and uh, that really was this has been less of a minute less than a minute in there so I'm just gonna keep going a little bit longer and then I'll take it out and try uh, try giving it a solder but uh, till then we can just keep checking it regularly want to make sure that it's nice and uh, consistent and you're not getting any burn marks if you leave it in one spot for too long it'll get this black scorch mark uh, which isn't great, but it's going really well. Okay, so it's been a day. Uh, I probably didn't need to hold it for that long, but I really want it to be very dried out. So 
kind of use your own discretion if you're going to do this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on there. Oh, forgot the flux. So it's been about a day since I uh, since I've plated these, so they should have had enough time to dry. So I've got my soldering iron heated to high. Healthy amount of flux. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to try and get a really thin, thin layer of solder because I don't want it to thicken up the plates too much. So let's see how it goes. Ah, better. So you just want, should be really flowy and saturate that. good. So it's a lot smoother and nicer than the last time I tried. So I'm just going to get out the other one and do the same thing to it. <laughs> 